Hello, welcome to the program. London University. Welcome to the program, everybody. Thank you very, very much uh, for coming uh, to see us. We have, a we have a huge program for you this evening. I have the feeling it's going to be uh, a very good one. Uh, we're very excited about it tonight. Uh, on tonight's show, it is International Take Your Daughters to Work Day this very evening. And yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's the fruit of last year's Think Up Stupid and Pointless Festivals Day. <laughs> Uh, or as Chris Evans is calling it, bring your girlfriend uh, to work day. Uh, <laughs> that's the one I should have led with. Anyway, um, uh, thank you very much for coming. It's a huge show, actually. Uh, um, so we're doing that. We're celebrating Take Our Daughters Into Work Day. We also are celebrating uh, the work of a town called Cockermouth in Cumbria. Uh, Cockermouth, well done, sir, for lowering the standard. Uh, uh, Cockermouth was the winner of a two year 2000 Council of Europe prize last year, and we went up there to celebrate it and find out why uh, they won the prize. We also have very fine and funny comedian Paul Foote, and we have a, also a major coup on tonight's programme. We've beaten every other single news organization for this story. We have him here tonight on the show. Disgraced former president of the Philippines, Joseph Estrada, will be here giving us his first interview <laughs> on British television. And we're very, and we've beaten Newsnight to this. We've beaten Hard Talk. So it's a great show. I might even get digital myself after this show. It's just that good an opportunity. So settle back, enjoy it, and we'll begin it now. Let's go. Sid James, it was 25 years ago today that the great comedian and character actor um, Sid James died. And in tribute to him, throughout tonight's show, we will be presenting things that we think he might have laughed at if he was still with us. Uh, <laughs> there it is there. So, <laughs> so let's make sure now the equipment is correctly calibrated. Can I give you one more test up there, Jeff? President Bush. <laughs> there we go. So that's working very nicely. Uh, now, I think... On the, on the President Estrada scoop that we have this evening, uh, there's been quite a lot of security around the building. I think we have some tape of uh, the former president arriving uh, this afternoon. I think this is it about. That's Robbie, one, one of our researchers who's researching tonight's show. There, there he is, uh, Estrada. There we go. He's disgraced, by the way. The story with him is uh, he was impeached in November on charges of bribery, corruption, betraying public trust, violating the Constitution, uh, and interestingly, we'll ask him about this as well, because he's, he's in, in the middle of some really big trouble there. He's also a former, mo a former movie actor, so that, that'll be an interesting thing that we'll talk to him about later on. So, President Estrada. Uh, it is, of course, today uh, National uh, Take Your Daughter uh, to Work Day, and uh, what we have done uh, this evening is we have various uh, staff members have brought their actual real-life daughters around. I believe Alan Bailey, our jib arm camera operator. What number is that camera, Alan? Number five. Number five. The Alan Bailey, our number five camera operator. You've brought in Lucy. It's Lucy. All right, Lucy, how are you? All right, thanks. What is it like having Alan as a parent? Um, he's, he's OK. He's, yeah. He's <laughs> <laughs> and is there a lot of pointing goes on in the family? Is that what happens? <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of shouting? Yeah. What's Alan like when he gets mad? Because he seems to me to be someone who would internalise his anger and not so much, not go, wah! but just sort of keep it in. Is, is that a correct assessment of Dad? It's good. He's my you know, it's OK, yeah. He's fine. <laughs> Did I just say something hippie? <laughs> uh, Ian's daughter, Ian, uh, a camera operator, Ian Head on camera. <laughs> Thank you very much there. <laughs> see, it's working already. Uh, Ian Head on camera two, you've brought your daughter Elise along to, to see. Hello, Elise. Hello. How old are you? Pardon? How old are you? Nine. Nine. It's very nice to have you here. Um, and I believe what we're going to... Did you dress the camera yourself, by the way? Uh, no, my dad did. Your dad? <laughs> <laughs> and, and I believe that on the programme tonight, you're go actually going to be operating camera two, is that correct? So, lovely. So, 
and already <laughs> you've certainly got some of your dad's magic there, Elise. Um, so, uh, Elise, so now we, we don't really want this to feel too set up, Ian. So, would you mind just stepping back? And I understand that you need to nudge Elise in the right direction. But, Elise, would you want to try and get a nicely framed shot of me? Which I guess that would be pretty good as far as shots of me go. But let's. <laughs> All right, good. Not bad. Come on in. Come on in. Whoa, fantastic. Right. No, no, no close-ups, no close-ups, no close-ups, no close-ups. So excellent, Elise, thank you very much, uh, and, uh, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, also, I believe, uh, by the end of the show, it's going to be like Village of the Damned, you can rest assured. Uh, hang on, I just have to put my earpiece in, because we've got some sound trouble. Up in the gallery, uh, I believe that uh, Sue, uh, Susan Pelhate, our vision mixer, uh, she has her daughter Tiffany there. Hello, Tiffany. Hello. So, Tiffany. Uh, what are you making of, uh, of the, this place where, where your mum works? I think it's really good. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> i tell you what, just, just, just Tiffany, just, just push some buttons, see what happens. Just push some buttons on the console. Mm. Just push any button, let's see what happens. Just push them. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Now, was that real? All right, so Tiffany, go on, push another button, do some damage. Right. <laughs> That's my daughter, Lashawn. <laughs> How are you? Are you all right, Lashawn? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, fine. All right. So we're not. We're not very close. Um, <laughs> all right, and I believe. <laughs> I believe now that up in our gallery also, Southern Morris, our most valued director, has brought along his daughters. You have twin girls, is that right? I do, John. Yeah. Here they are. Oh, hello, hello, John. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what are their names? Uh, Kerry and Joe. Kerry and Kerry Joe. Kerry and Joe. Kerry and Joe. That's lovely. Well, they, they, they both have your breasts, Southern. That's <laughs> Thank you very much. That's all I can say. <laughs> All right, and welcome to this special edition of OTT. It's back. All right, so uh, we've done everything there. Um, now, we are not, by the way, the only show marking the occasion. Uh, here now is how some other programmes have celebrated the day. So, hello there. It looks as if it's going to remain very unsettled in the next few days. We've got a great big bank of cloud movie across from the west at the moment. That's bringing along some outbreaks of rain. So, showers. But it was another great night of sport. Rob Bonnet's here with all the details. Thanks, Jeremy. Yes, good morning to you. The uh, morning sports news once again dominated by European football. And who'd have thought it? Leeds United alone will fly the flag for Britain in the... But can you behave yourself? In the last four of the European Champions League. And that means we're going to see more rain, especially across the more northern and western parts of Scotland. To the south of that, a mixture of sunshine and showers. <laughs> Dad is working. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. Please. Shh, shh, shh. Lovely. Uh, also up for best video, fellow Brit winner Sonic is hot on his heels. That's the weather for now. Look here, if you're going to be my daughter, you bloody pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, now, uh, here to give us his honest opinion of what our fourth week on air has been right, has been like, even, is our most valued show writer, Ed Dyson. Here he is. I just, I just, 